there's always these recurrent stories, right, about the market collapse. And I guess you've heard it every single year of your life, Kevin, about the markets just about to collapse. And this time will be different because the markets won't actually recover this time. Um, but I guess you've learned over the years not to try to time the markets as well, right? I, I have tried to time the market and I have failed miserably. And I want to point out to everybody, the reason I don't do that anymore, look at 2020. Um, you had incredible returns and they happened in 19 trading sessions. In the wine business as well, and I have a little tradition, when the markets close, I always have a glass of Chardonnay um, at you know, 4 o'clock, uh, New York time. Somewhere in the world, it's four o'clock. So, <laughs> I and I always I always uh, start with that Chardonnay, and I have, and I was I went out one day and, you know, with my glass of Chardonnay onto the balcony to watch the sharks because in Miami Beach there were no people allowed on the beach, and all of the giant great whites were coming right up to the beach to eat the pelicans. It was the most bizarre scene you've ever seen. They haven't been there in two hundred years because of the people on the beach, but for the first time in two hundred years. There was nobody on the beach. So I was, I remember that day I went out with my glass of Chardonnay and I was down millions of dollars and, you know, pretty upset about it. The next day I was out with my glass of Chardonnay up millions of dollars in 24 hours. And I realized, imagine if I'd been out of the market on the recovery hour. So you can't time the market, not when you get such volatility. All of us, I speak to all of us now, you know what I'm talking about. I think as we, you just have to get used to volatility and staying the course long with quality companies and quality investments.